<laughs> Here you go, show Dada. Where's Dada? What's up, brother? What's up, brother? Brother arm. All right, you ready to hit the road? Whoa. Where are you going? All right, we came to the lake today because Dylan is doing a long run. He's training for a race. We don't know which one yet, but he is running nine miles today. So we thought we'd get out of the house do something different and so we came to the lake and Ron and I are going to play on the playground. I brought lunch, have a little picnic and it's way colder than we thought it would be. Alright buddy. Here we go. Alright Ron, here we go. We got, we got time to kill. You swing? You see daddy leaving? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Are you ready? Well, I'm taking this free time to clean out my car. <laughs> it really needs it. It's got a lot of Cheerios, a lot of wafers, a lot of toys in it. And so I'm just gonna get rid of all the trash because I don't want any more mice. So I don't know if you heard on YouTube, but on Instagram I shared. We figured out that I had a mouse in my car because things were getting chewed up. I had like dog food in my diaper bag. I'm like, how is this getting here? So I was like, I have a mouse in my car. I tried the sticky pads. I tried a mouse trap. What nothing was working. I would like open my glove box and there's tons of stuff chewed up in it. It was so annoying. Everyone's like, you need to get out of there. Like they'll chew your wires, ruin your car. So I put in one of those like trap boxes where they can get in but they can't get back out. I put food in it and I put poison in it because I'm not I'm not dealing with a live mouse. It'll just go back in it. Put it in there for one day. I had three mice in my car three living mice in my car i think it's just like where we live dylan had a mouse in his car too like they can easily get in through like the uh, floorboards up here like close to the engine and stuff and so yeah they were nibbling away on everything in my car because i have a lot of food and so i'm gonna clean it out to try to prevent any more mice from getting in Ron, you are straight chilling i can't believe that he's keeping these sunglasses on but he loves them. Okay, so some things that I always have in my car are carriers. So I usually have one of my Tula carriers and my sling carrier for the grocery store or literally anywhere. I recently just put this like um, 
diaper caddy in the car to try to stay more organized. This is my first time actually putting stuff in it. But I've got diapers, I've got wipes, I've got like Aquaphor, and then I've got these snacks. These wafers I keep in the car at all times because when he's getting fussy in his seat, it's something that I can feed him that I know he won't choke on because they like dissolve in his mouth. So those save my life. I use them every single day. Are you being crazy? Where are you going? Oh my goodness. I always have an abundance of snacks. So this is actually from the um, airport. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw away like the old stuff. And then I also keep like coats in the car, both for myself and for Roan, because you just never know if you're gonna need a coat or not. And since they can't wear them in their car seat anyways, I just keep coats in the car. I keep a blanket in the car. Like a baby blanket. That way, you got it if you need it. Lint rollers, also very important <laughs> for our dog house. This kid is literally wild. <laughs> Roan, what are you doing? What are you gonna do? How are you gonna get down? Are you stuck? All right, and then all of his extra toys I just put in a bag right here so I can just grab it and hand him toys. It's one thing about I love about my car and I do not ever want to have to get a new car. I love my car so much. Um, but I can reach, like, I can reach him so easily. And that is something I love about my car because when I'm driving Dylan's truck or like my mom's SUV, you can't reach the baby and you can't hand him toys and you can't do anything. I know it's dangerous for all driving, but we go on some long trips and it just makes life so much easier when you can reach them. So Dylan's been running and going to the gym so much this year. He's said this is, this will be his healthiest year ever. So he literally cold plunges every single day. He wakes up at 4.30 in the morning and goes and works out before work. Then he comes home and on Mondays and Tuesdays and Saturdays, or no, Tuesday, Wednesdays and Saturdays, he runs. And on Saturdays, he does long runs. So today he's doing nine, nine miles. This boy is committed, committed. And so good for him. We are being a supportive wife at home not doing any of those things. I've been really wanting to like work out more. I have a gym membership, but we are trying to work in like a routine of when I can go. And so once it gets warmer on the Tuesday and Wednesday runs that are shorter, he'll take Roan and run with him in the stroller. And then I can go work out by myself. I can always work out at home with Roan, but I don't because it is not as enjoyable working out with a baby. But if I was committed, I could do it. But I'm not that committed yet. Maybe one day. I do want to get um, just stronger, fitter, healthier, get some muscle back. This boy sucked everything out of me. So I want to get it back. Oh. Roan's first birthday is on Thursday. And I have been, when I say I have been depressed about it, you know, I'm not actually depressed. People are like, don't be depressed. Like, it's... You know, but like, I'm so sad. I already think birthdays. Are you serious? I already think birthdays are so sad because I hate getting older. Like, I'm so sad on my birthdays. I just want to stay young forever. I just, life goes way too fast. And so him turning one is killing me. Like, every day I look at him and I'm just like... Please stay like this forever. I didn't even want you to get this bit. I just want you to stay a little, tiny, itsy, bitsy baby. But also, I'm obviously grateful. Grateful for his growth, but he's just my little guy. Ready? Here, go down your tongue. Ready? Bye! Wow! <laughs>
Dylan going on these runs because he gets to do what he wants at the beginning of the day and then we do something that I want to do at the end of the day and we're beginning a lot accomplished doing it this way so um, yeah we're gonna clean I want everything out of back here because this is where the addition is gonna go on and so we just need to get everything out so that nothing is left and then the next step will be taking out a line of chinking in the log walls and then um, when my parents are gonna come and we're gonna take down all the log walls. And then it will just be this rectangle left. And we'll take down the, this roof and everything will be gone out of here. And we'll cover the roof just until we do the add-on and then we're gonna add on. And that window will come out, the door will come out and that will be just the middle of the house instead of the back of the house. But first, we have to get everything out of here. So that's what we're gonna do today. It's full of like trash and so much stuff. Roan is currently sleeping, so Dylan's watching him, and it'll come out once he's Bad idea, bad idea, bad idea, bad idea, bad idea. Uh, not a good idea. the house so it comes down from the tank up on the hill to right here and then it enters the house so there's an on-off valve right there that's not buried we just have it like styrofoamed and encased in that box so far that's held up throughout the winter but like these are things we're gonna have to think about when we add on along with like the propane enters the house right there for a little propane heater in the bathroom and so all that's gonna have to be reconfigured also. So one of the ceiling pieces actually fell down. So this was obviously the old cabin, right? So like that was literally the ceiling, these logs. So that's what will have to come down up until right back there. So all this will come down. Right back there is on the other side is the loft is like where our bed is. So we have to get down all that lumber. I'm gonna plan on putting it like all back there stacked up under tarp so that it's easy to access. And we'll have like all of our materials in one place for the build. 
Oh, here's what I mean when, so there's logs and then there is cement in between and there are also nails. I don't know if there's any showing. Nails that are in between these and also like this mesh wire that holds the cement together. So we just wanna take like, chip out the cement here, 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 all the way down so that we could take the chainsaw and just literally we're gonna do it back further though. I just keep telling myself like all of it, all of it, all of it because all the little things that I wanna leave behind now will still need to be done later and I want everything to be ready to go when my parents get here. So things like this pile of broken glass, it's gotta go. If you've been here since the beginning, you'll remember one of our first projects when we first moved in was like putting all of our tools on these back walls and we just put a million nails in the wall and now I'm gonna take them all down and it's just so crazy like how far we've come. We're on year three, start of year three and our tool wall is turning into a bedroom. So that's very exciting. on our first project and it's so sad. So like right here is a big hole. Basically could cut right through there. The thing is, it has the rebar, I don't know what it is, you know, the steel. Can you see it? Right here? So that makes it like so annoying because you can't take a chainsaw through that. 